Hello, it's Mac1012, and here is a tutorial on how to make sort of an energy sphere. And this is what we are going to be making. Wait a second. It doesn't really look that good on your end, but it'll look pretty cool when you finish it. So, um, first thing we need to do is we need to actually go into Photoshop. And you can get a picture of anything pretty much. I like to use a picture of clouds because I think it looks good. So here's my picture of clouds. Um, now all we need to do in Photoshop is to just add this chrome effect and that's all we need to do in Photoshop and save it and save it. Now we we'll go back into Adobe Premiere and we get our photo which is right here. We actually wait we don't put it in yet. First thing we're going to do is create a new text layer put it in video 2 wait a second alright there we go it's in video 2 make it as long as you want your clip to be about that long I guess um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the text you're going to delete it. You're going to take this box tool, cover the whole screen, and make it black. Um, so now, just create a circle. Do use, I mean, use the ellipse tool and make a circle over here. Select it, delete it. Now you can do it over the box. Wait a second. Um, now you can do it over the box. Um, make it really big. Try to make it as perfect as you can. Um, but don't worry about it if it's not completely perfect. We'll do it about like that, just for this tutorial. Now you want to make it a green color, sort of like a green screen. And we're done with that. Now we're going to drag in our photo we're going to put in video one um, make it as long as that text layer go to effects type in green green key apply it to the text layer and it should look like that so now just select your clouds photo and go to edit effects um, go to motion scale it down until looks until it fits the circle about I don't know try to do it until it fits the circle now what you're gonna do is drag it all the way over here make sure this is all the way at the beginning now um, change this to 240 to make it in the exact center um, now you're going to click this toggle animation button the um, stopwatch and drag this Time slider all the way over here. Go to the very last frame. Let me find the last frame. There. Now select motion. Drag it all the way over here. And change this to 240. And it should just look like a simple thing moving like that. It's nothing really special. So, first thing we're going to do now is we're just going to um, go to share, personal computer, make sure it's in the AVI format. If your viewer is in full screen, you want to put in standard. If it's widescreen, put it in widescreen. So, mine is standard, so we'll just keep it in standard. Um, name it whatever you want. I'll just name it... Um, 
ball and save it wherever you want and save it it shouldn't take too long to save since it's not very complex alright there now we're gonna go in here select all delete now we're gonna go to organize we're gonna get our file we just saved um, let me find it should be in this here it is um there it is right there drag it down to the timeline and go to effects type in spherize apply it now it just it creates a bump to make it look 3D put it in the center 360 240 and make it about the size of the circle probably you want to make it a little bigger I guess like that and you're done well you're not done yet now you want to um, select it, control C, copy it. Now you want to just control C, uh, I mean, paste it, control V. Um, put it in video 2. Put the second one in video 2. Now, um, now go to type into effects, um, Core H O R, and you should find horizontal flip. Put apply that to the one in video one. Take the one in video two. Go to edit effects. Go to opacity. Take it down to fifty percent. And it's almost done. So this is what it looks like. See like how it looks sort of like a ball, sorta. Of. And it makes it look good. So it looks like it's rotating, sort of like a transparent ball. Now the next thing we're doing is we're going to go to effects and type in lens flare. Just type in lens, L-E-N-S, lens flare. Apply it to the one in video one. And put it in the exact center, 360. 240 and you probably want to put it in 35 millimeter prime that's your choice you can take the brightness up you can do whatever you want sorta just I'll just leave it at that so there's our basic ball so we're pretty much done with this effect I'm just going to show you some ways you can use it like first I'm just going to save it so I can use it better so, let's name it. Um, I don't know. I'll just save it. And then I'll show you how to key out the black to put it over a video and to change the color of the ball. So maybe you can use it differently other than just a, a ball. I don't know how you'd use it. I'm just a guy that makes the tutorial, right? <laughs> But, um, so, um, while it's saving, I don't know. I'll just get this step. You save it. Um, I already made it, so I'm just gonna.